the early treasure hunter gets the jewel. Damn. I like to start my bath by about 7.30 so that I can be out the door at 8. Hey Dave, you got a copy there? Why don't you come get me about 20? David is our demolitions expert, our drill man. I used to play with explosives when I was a kid, homemade stuff. It's fun, and besides that, they pay me. North America is not known to be a major producer pretty much of about any type of exotic gemstone. You think of emerald, you think of far off exotic locations like you know the jungles of Colombia or Brazil or Pakistan or Africa. But this is the first time on the North American continent where really high quality emeralds have been consistently found. This, this rock that I'm standing on, they call this basement rock of the earth. This is a hard blue granite which contains veins within it that contain the emeralds. Grady is a much valued employee. He's a great accountant. He really knows his business. He's, he knows what he's doing. Hi. I'm a type A person and I'm always, I always have my key out before I get to the doorknob. Mr. Grady. <laughs> Before we can even get back to the job of mining for emeralds, which is the primary function of this company, we have to first get the track hoe fix that's broke down in the pit. There is no cheap, easy way to do what we do here. Explosives are the most efficient, costly way to find the valuable emeralds that we seek. This is the good stuff. This contains nitroglycerin. Some people can't handle it because it's, it, it goes into your skin, gets into your bloodstream. It gives some people migraine headaches. I'm always in high anticipation on blast day because as soon as we push that button, it may be another million dollar day. The blast was a success. As I walk through the smoke and crawl through the debris, I'm looking for any sign of the next emerald vein. Now that David has softened up the hard rock around the vein, we'll take the big hydraulic hammer and break our way down, chisel our way down to try to get underneath this quartz. That, that, that's an emerald vein. We're gonna have to be very careful from this point on. Just to see how far it's going. Let's just hope that green powder isn't. No, this, uh, no that's just the chromite. You, know, you know that that green. Yeah. That green stuff that surrounds. Scary. That's around the bottom of the pocket. Yeah. That's what that is. Did you go down for some distance in the no, air? No, no. I mean, well, as soon as I hit it, I'm backing up. Yeah, but you felt it's the pressure. Yeah. And you know it's air. <laughs> yeah. And you hit the green. Well, there's a cave down here. It means there's treasure down here but we need to take a break first. I'm gonna grab some lunch. Anyway, the crew wanted to have some venison today, which uh, is not out of the ordinary. But I'd, I'd like to note that I don't kill anything I don't eat. That's a rule I have. This right here seems to be like an intersection where they come through the woods. Dear me. Yeah, we eat it all the time. We can ours. 90 minutes in the pressure cooker, and you'd be surprised how few cans a whole deer will go in, cutting it all up into chunks. Deer makes a good stew. Uh, with mashed potatoes, I mean, uh, cute potatoes and uh, carrots. Book by Schwartzbein, a uh, lady doctor and an endocrinologist in California. And she says if you can't pick it, hunt it. Let's see how she say, pick it, hunt it. Let's see, pick, hunt. She's got five things. Anyhow, you don't eat a thing, eat anything processed. 
It's a pocket. Look at that. It's it. perfect pocket material right there. Oh yeah. They almost taste good. That's why I lick them when I find them. Green ice. This is what it's all about. These gorgeous, gorgeous green, green emeralds. Almost didn't find anything today. I was really beginning to worry. And uh, it would have been okay if we hadn't though, because uh, it's the adventure. That's what counts. It's, it's the, you know, it's gotta be something that you really love doing. You're not gonna always find an emerald. You're not always going to, you know, but it's gotta be in your blood. It's a passion, it's a drive, it's the, the adventure that keeps me going. What the hell are you doing? Sneak a hat up there and laying that hammer down. <laughs> it's called style, Grady. Something you wouldn't know about. Is that what you call it? <laughs> I've got other names for it. 